for our next watercolor technique, we are going to be using bubble wrap. So this technique can be a little tricky, um, but you can see it leaves a really nice effect on the paper. So I'm going to set this aside and show you what you're going to need. You're going to have a choice of three different sizes, and I know it's hard to see here. So this size, this is a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, and a little bit bigger. You can decide which size paper you would like to use for your bubble wrap technique. I'm going to use this size, and of course the first thing is you're going to write your name, and then you're going to flip it over, and I've written something on the back of mine, so I have to erase that. You're going to flip it over so you have a nice coat, white piece of paper to work with. So again, you are going to just put whatever colors down here that you would like. We are going to continue using the liquid watercolor. And however you want to do this. You will have some other choices than I have out today for my demonstration, but this is just what I'm going to be using. Now, because the liquid watercolor is very wet, which is a great thing, um, you can't put the bubble wrap on this right away. We have to blot the watercolor so it's dried a bit. So you can see I didn't fill everything up. That's okay. All right, so blotting. You're going to take a piece of toweling. And blotting is uh, subtracting paint or taking paint away. So I'm just going to, and that is a whole other technique as well. So I'm just going to blot some of this away because after I put down the bubble wrap, I don't want this paper to be really wet. Otherwise, the print that it leaves behind won't really show. Now for, to start, let me see if I can move my camera in. To start, I'm just going to see what happens when I press this down. So it's a little bit of experimenting with this to see what works. Now you can see those dots and they look great now, but they're going to start drying a bit. So when they dry, they might fade a little bit. That's okay. So I like that. I'm going to let my paper dry a little bit and I'm just going to see what happens if I take just, here let me do it inside the camera so you can see what I'm doing, taking the liquid and just going over this just a bit, not too much, and I'm going to see what happens here. That came out pretty good. And I can stamp on top of other things just to see what will happen. Move that in a little closer. You can see it's shiny, so that paper is still wet. Some of the pattern or design might fade a bit as the paint dries, but I think I kind of like this. So I'm going to leave this to dry, and then I will see you in our next technique, which will be, oh, I'm not quite sure yet. We'll have to wait and see.